Hello, welcome to the Scratch Coding class. So in today's video, we're going to start a brand new series, and this is a LEGO Mindstorms EV3 with Scratch series. So um, this series assumes no experience of LEGO Mindstorms, so we're just going to start right from the beginning. And by the end of this video, you should have a robot that does this. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, but before we get started building, I just want to explain some of the parts that you'll find in your LEGO Mindstorms EV3 kit. So we're going to start off with this, and this is basically the most important thing. This is the EV3 brick, and it's basically the brain of the robot. It will control what the robot does. All the programs that you'll make later will just be downloaded onto here. And we've also got uh, these things, and these are called motors. And motors basically make the robot move. Um, so we've got three of them in the set, so you have, you'll you have two that look like this, and you want to use these two um, for this robot that you're going to build, and these are called large motors. And then we also have um, Lego Technic building pieces, and uh, just before I forget, we've also got wires to connect the EV3 brick to the motors. Um, anyway, these are um, EV3 um, building pieces, and and um, these pieces right here, these are called beams. So the ones with circular holes in them, they are they are called beams. And you can uh, you can connect um, beams to each other by using pins. And these are friction pins, and these are black. And there are non-friction pins, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. For now, you need to know that pins connect into beams. So let's say I want to connect these two. I can just click it in, and there it's connected. If I want to take it out, it's very easy. Just pull it out like that. And then we also have these sort of um, cross sections, and these are called axles. And axles, um, they fit into sort of these um, cross sections, and some of the beams, you'll see them, they fit right through perfectly. But just be aware, they don't fit through the circular holes like this, so that doesn't work. And then we also have um, just um, some towers at the back, and we're going to be using these attached to the motor. Um, because the motor basically won't do anything, you need to attach some wheels for it to actually move a robot. And I think that is basically everything. I'll talk about um, more of this stuff when we're actually building. But make sure to gather all these pieces. I recommend sorting out your kit into a set of drawers um, so it's really easy to find. And these are basically all the pieces that you'll need. And if you want to find the length of an axle, here's a tip. So you got just, you just need a beam for this, and you just put the axle right next to the beam, like this. So, um, this um, axle can cover five holes, so you know this is a five long axle. And um, this this beam right here, this is actually a 13 long beam. So you have to count the number of holes, and this is sort of a unit of measurement when we're building with LEGO. So uh, make sure you get the correct amount of holes here. These are 13 holes, and these sort of angled pieces, um, there are seven long here, and then they've got um, three gaps right here. So there, there are loads of different angle pieces in the kit, but make sure you have two of these specific ones. And let's get started building. So we're going to get started right now with the towers. Um, so first of all, you want to attach sort of this rubber thing um, inside the tower, and you can just put it in like this. And there you go, you have one complete tower, and you just want to repeat that for all of them. So, um, we've got one more right here to do. And then once we've done that, basically, we want to grab the axles. So, these axles right here, and you want to attach them to the motor. So, you, um, you want one to be on the right. Um, with this, if this thing's pointing upwards, then you want the axle to be on the right. And then you want one on the left, because you want a left tower and a right tower. So, um, we're going to do that right now. There we go. And then um, what you want is you, you want to put a spacer in. So um, these are spacers and they just create a gap between the motor and the tower. So we can put that in and then we can put the flat side of the tower um, inside like that. And then we just push until it can't go in anymore. And there we go. We have the right side. And I'm just going to repeat that for the left side. So put a spacer in. And then you just want to put... Um, your tower in, and this shouldn't actually be all the way in, it should, only, it should only be partly in, and then we put that in, and then we put that in like that. There we go, so we've got basically our two um, towers complete, and we want to join the motors together, um, so 
and they are fixed together and they cannot move so we have this piece right here so um, we're gonna need some um, non-friction pins so we're gonna put one like this and then we're gonna put one like this and then we want to do the same thing on the other side so one like that and one like that and make sure they're in securely and then you just want to put them in like this so both motors are connected together so you should have a robot that looks like this right now and um, I want the robot to be supported so move like that not like the motors are just trailing the ground like it is right now so um, basically we're going to go to the back and then I'm, I'm going to add um, these sort of angled beams and we're going to need uh, this uh, a blue beam and axle thing and I'm going to explain that in a future video but I don't want to overcomplicate it right now so we put uh, the cross section in here and then what we want is we just want a normal um, pin and then we just put that in like so and it's quite difficult to get two pins in at the same time but there we go, we've got um, that done and then we just have to repeat it for the other side so we want a pin facing like that and then we want a uh, another pin and then we just put that in and this is basically just going to be the support, it's just going to drag across the ground uh, you could make it in the third wheel but I'm not going to overcomplicate it so we've got a robot like this and uh, what I want to do is, you can see these are actually moving in together and you can qu move them quite a lot, the motors are now moving so I'm just, for a bit more security, I want to attach a beam right here so then the motors cannot move so it's very simple, you just need two pins you want one at the end of the beam here and you want one at the other end of the beam like this, and then you just want to put it in and it is quite difficult to do but you'll get it in eventually you can put one pin at a time that may, might make it a bit easier and uh, now we have a robot that looks like this and we can test it but just by moving it um, manually and it definitely works and now what we have to do is we need to attach the brick on and that is actually going to be a wee bit challenging so what I'd recommend doing is um, going here and you want to attach these um, longer beams um, so you can attach the, uh, the brick like that that is the goal so um, we're going to attach um, pins onto um, here here and I think it's here and here and then um, hopefully I can attach the brick on when we have um, these beams so we can put one beam like that and one beam like that and then we just need to attach the brick on and we just need um, beams um, I think it's here and then it's here then it's here and then it's here and then all we need to do is you just need to put the brick on top and I, I think I miscalculated, this actually needs to be at the very end because uh, I put the brick sideways so apologies for that so we want the pins at the end and then after we just put the brick on top and that should be the robot complete so uh, it's going to be difficult this part and it's going to move quite a lot so you just want to make sure that you put one pin in at a time and you get it in eventually and <laughs> We've got three in, just one more left. There we go. So this is um, the completed robot. So uh, we need to attach wires now. And I recommend getting the two shortest wires. And then uh, you can see there's ports right here. So we've got A, B, C, D. You want to make sure you're looking at the ones with letters, not the ones with numbers. And uh, you just want to attach, um, we're going to use ports B and C. Uh, so we're going to attach a wire into B and then we're going to attach a wire into C and then you want to put a wire into each motor so you just go around and you just hold down like that and then you just want to do the same to the other side and there we go um, and this is the completed robot so um, now I'm going to show you how to program it to move so now what you need to do is you need to open Scratch and you can use the online or offline version. I'm using the online version right now and you want to actually connect uh, to the brick. So you need Scratch Link for that. You just download it and run Scratch Link and make sure you have Bluetooth on and then your brick should appear. So I'm the EV3 
and make sure the pins one two three four and there we go uh, that is the brick connected and what you have to do now is just basically copy this code so make sure um you know this is turned that way at the start and then this way um at th um, the bottom of the script and just copy all that i'm not going to explain it in, th in today's video and probably do that in the next video because i don't want to start in the programming today so just copy that code and once you're done uh, then you can press the green flag and then you can watch the robot and we're just going to do a quick test right now okay so once uh, i press the green flag the robot should move there we go the robot just moved forward and backward and if the motors aren't moving at all you want to make sure that the wires are actually connected to the motors make sure they're tightly connected and also make sure your robot has good battery because if uh, your robot doesn't have any battery it'll just turn off and the motor is going to be really really slow as well so make sure you get new batteries um, for your robot every time you use it uh, but that's going to be it for today's video of the scratch coding class uh, we're still going to do more building and programming in the future videos so um, you want to follow the series and um, so press the like button and make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now